It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Houston Texans. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. A throw left side to start to drive is complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. A good, safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Right back to Brown. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Graham going to set up to throw. That's complete. It's Gordon. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. The power move there couldn't buy him much space. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. The Browns send out their punter now. Back deep is Tank Dell. Three. 
That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Texans taking over offensively, and it is, of course, Deshaun Watson who leads them out at quarterback. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. They run up the middle with Foster. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Here comes third down at seven. Back to throw, Watson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. Fielded at about the 28. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And they'll begin here with a run by Brown. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now Graham to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, it's Graham. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one good for 24 yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. They run up the gut with Kelly. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They go play action with Graham. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. That one goes for 24 yards. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. 
Graham will throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Now it's Graham. Touchdown, Browns! From four yards out. And the Browns will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now, he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. A give, Foster running right. And he'll power his way up near the 25. They get six yards back on the run, but still have a third and long situation forthcoming. Here's Watson. territory all the way at the 10 yard line well that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid isn't it i mean that's third and long and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him sometimes even with extra pressure and he he knew that i mean he, he knew they were coming he just fumbled it yeah he knew it the offensive line knew it everyone did yet the pressure was still there and he ended up coughing it up Following the fumble recovery. Graham, that's caught at the one. Touchdown! From 10 yards out. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Point after here coming up. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and 10. 
Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Watson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Watson off play action. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Miles Garrett, what a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing now, Graham on first down. Able to get this to Gordon. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Graham. And his throw is incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Graham here from the shotgun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 34. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up and they jumped. Graham going to look to throw again. Complete to Newsom. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Here's Graham to throw it. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now Calais running left. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. 
It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. Out of the shotgun, Graham. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Looking to throw, Graham. Touchdown, Browns! A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Browns take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this <laughs> game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. Here's Tank Dell to return it from his end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now out comes Houston. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes... I... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! And this is picked up by the Browns. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. This defense, Charles, very opportunistic here early. A second fumble recovery in this first quarter of play. Yeah, you mentioned the right word, opportunistic and aggressive because once they got the first fumble recovery, they were eager to get a second one, and sometimes they just come in bunches. On the flip side, they've got to figure out how to hold the ball because the play calls seem to be okay. They're just not executing. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Now a second and 10. Throwing again, Graham. And this is taken in at the five. And he's finally taken down and it's a big gain there on what'll turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 21-0, our score after one. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll give up the middle to Kelly. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. From the two now, second and goal. Back to throw, Graham. And that's gonna be caught for a Browns touchdown. Josh Gordon. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because 
when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. He's supposed to catch that, maybe that's how we eat. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The lane opens here, he's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Texans. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they broke it up. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw. Graham. And he comes back with one complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The offense on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and four. That is caught. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll put him right at 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. It's a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first and 10, here's Brown. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. 
I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. The throw here going to be complete to Gordon and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. The slot man in motion right. An inside give, Brown. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Kelly is in. Touchdown, Cleveland. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Watson now to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Watson. taken down this will be a brown sack and that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five so that now four first half sacks this pass rush has been unrelenting and partner you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds that's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now we have to do something differently A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. 
A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Graham going to set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Second down and four. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? They go right back to the ground here in Brown. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. On play action, Graham. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. On third down, here's Graham. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Ready, break. They'll try and throw for it with Graham. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Now Graham to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. To throw once more here is Graham. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, Kevin Stefanski trots out the field goal unit. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done.
The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Texans now. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. A first down carry for Foster. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Make that now two runs in a row that have netted them great results. And it doesn't matter what kind of blocking scheme they're using, gap scheme, power scheme, zone running. They are finding people in those gaps and moving them and creating nice space for their runners. Steps away, fighting to stay upright. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first down, Watson. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. To throw is Watson. Touchdown, Texans! It's Deshaun Watson with a touchdown pass to Brandon Cooks. And the Texans get a bit closer. Now this has been a one-sided first half to this point, no doubt. But at least signs of life here, they're on the board. Yeah, and I think if they went to the halftime down big with zero points on the board, it'd be a struggle to see them come out in the second half and play well. So very important, vital here. And if they make a huge comeback, we'll look back at this moment and point to the start of it. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Graham will throw. Setting up the screen to Kelly. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now it's Graham. Got 
Gordon open, completes it. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Second and five. Now Graham. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellas got the memo, and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. Third down from the gun, Graham. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Again, it's Graham. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So more of the same here, CD. Not a touchdown, but three more points added onto their lead. Yeah, it's been a total domination here in this first half. Offensively, defensively, even the special teams have chipped in as he connects on the field goal. It may be a little bit premature, but I think the only thing to worry about dominating now, the post-game meal. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, we were treated to a fine performance by this rookie quarterback. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back to throw, Watson. This is caught, it's Cooks. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. To throw on second is Watson. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To the air yet again, Watson. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will cut the lead down to three scores at 24. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. Off the play fake, here's Graham. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. 
Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Second and ten, here's Graham again. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now Graham on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this one is incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Here's Graham to throw it. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the shotgun, Graham. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Houston set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Watson. Screen play set up for Williams. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Watson. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him, and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it didn't get done. It's complete to Hopkins. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. 
On first down, it's Watson. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Partners, not just a little slot receivers, get a little trepidation going across the middle. Even the big guys, even guys like a tight end, they got a little concern going across there, going through the briar patch. Maybe hearing some footsteps, getting a little gator armed. Watson, off play action. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Faking the give, now Watson. And Daniels has it, left side. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Watson. Johnson with a completion over the middle. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Going up the middle, Foster. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try and run for it with Foster. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Toss play to the right to Blue. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. One of the toughest things for an offensive lineman to learn is the ability to get in space and hit people who are moving targets. And linebackers are not easy ones to hit because they know how to move, juke, and make you miss. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A nice play for the defense. Foster on second down, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. Watson now to throw. Touchdown! five-yard touchdown and the Texans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit well down in this part of the field CD they love to get him the football and right there a little pitch and catch for the score yeah and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone and they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches talk about trust talk about confidence and he produces but D'Amico Ryans, even with the defensive mindset, he'll elect to go for two here. They'll let Foster try and run it in. And he will not make it to the goal line. The defense holds him here. And this is still a three-score game as the lead remains 18.
Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Throwing now, Graham on first down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Graham to throw. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll run on third down with Brown. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A give. This is Kelly. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Still needing ten yards. Now it's third down. And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Texans will take over. Now comes the Houston offense as they get take over here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Oh, 
A shotgun handoff now. Foster. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Here's Watson. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Time running short here in the fourth quarter. You're down three scores. And I think you've got a defense here saying we just need to prevent the home run. So a good, smart offensive coordinator can use that as an advantage. And that's a nice throw there to pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Watson. Here's Johnson with a reception. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. 62 yards. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point forthcoming. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Just a four-play drive that time. And the result, a Houston touchdown. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Cleveland offense making their way out. Now all of a sudden, we've got an interesting game here. You just saw them go down and score a touchdown. And what was a comfortable lead at halftime, it's down to a two-score game. And so the obvious thought is they've got to ramp things back up again. Got to get the offense into high gear. But we've seen this before. When you've kind of been in shutdown mode for a while, thinking that you're okay, it's hard to mash the gas again and have everything work perfectly. They've got to fashion together a good drive right here and now. Because defensively, got to be feeling confident they haven't allowed a point this half. This offensive line starting to win up front. You win that battle in the trenches, you can kind of wear them down here late. So you bring in the second part to that equation, and that's the big running back, the big bruiser, who can get more than what's blocked and break a few extra tackles and gain yardage. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down. Yeah, the Browns are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now it's Graham. It's complete to Brown, right side. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Oh. 
Brown will score. Touchdown, Cleveland. This one now, Charles, you'd have to think all but over. I would agree with that because this offensive line, they've been physical from the first snap of the game, and it's taken a toll on this defense. And it was never more evident than on that play right there. They continue to move the line of scrimmage forward, and they open up enough space there to get their guy into the end zone. Now for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Now Houston's offense taking over again. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Back to throw, Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Now it's Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead, now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late, that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. Things were looking really good at half, Charles, but the story has changed, and they just sat this offense on the sideline, watch another touchdown go in the wrong direction. They're really getting blitzed in this second half. And the pressure is really on because they need a big-time drive to calm things down. But as you mentioned, things have really gone in the wrong direction. The momentum's all on the other side of the ball. Their offense has now given their defense a lot of confidence. You know they're going to get after them here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Right back to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Now a give, left side, Brown with it. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 79 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. And now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, Browns! Josh Gordon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving at a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now out comes Houston. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. To throw is Watson. He finds his man, Johnson. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 43, here's second down and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Two yards, good enough for a first. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short gain. Now a first down throw, Watson. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, here's Watson. Looking middle. It's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
The Texans on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. To the air yet again, Watson. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And this is caught, but they say out of bounds. That would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. Now, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 20, here's the second down and four. Graham going to set up to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. They run up the gut with Kelly. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns had six to their lead. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Texans getting set here to take over again on offense. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Oh, the ball is in. Watson lost it. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because 
maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help them improve. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third down, here's Brown. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. <laughs> How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14 yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. That's what it is! That's what it is, man! Let's not baby. Let's go do this thing, baby. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Watson. There again is Cooks, complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here now, second and four. Off of play action, it's Watson. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Watson. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Here's Cameron Johnston now. He's been terrific so far. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up. And he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? 
everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long from Houston.